Welcome to Remember Me. This is an action-adventure game made by Don't Nod Entertainment, who also made the Life is Strange series. This was actually the first game that they made as a studio, and they were going for a big, bombastic kind of AAA sort of thing. And they were moderately successful from what I've heard from reviews. However, it didn't sell all that great. They went on to make Life is Strange, and that was a huge success, so they've kind of just left this in the past and pursued more episodic and smaller things. Just a small note before we begin, the subtitles are unfortunately too small, and that's even after I edited an INI file to make them as big as possible. That made them fairly readable compared to the original, which was so small it was basically unreadable. Yeah, it's sad when you have to edit an INI file just to be able to read the subtitles. Okay, let's begin a new game. I've played for just a couple minutes to check settings. So I'm gonna overwrite our old one, start again at episode zero. Gonna go with the normal difficulty, which is Errorist Agent, the ideal challenge for frequent gamers. After our boat sank, I was the only refugee to reach the shore. I held my husband's hand until the very last second I can still feel the nails of his fingers sticking into mine, you know? The first night he said to me, let's share our memories. I remember I was sort of afraid, but um, <laughs> then he smiled and we hit the switch together and then I felt everything. Oh, for the first time I was, I was living all of his love for me. It, it felt so warm and so strong that it, it almost hurt. For the last three years, every day has been our first day. <laughs> the weather was so hot that day. The streets stank of this awful smell of burning plastic. I walked with the other children across town until we were outside of Paris. No one fired. The war was over. I don't know if I'll ever find the courage to give these memories to my son. But I'm relieved to know that they are all safe and secure. Thanks to my Sensen, I choose to remember every defining moment of my life. The good ones and the bad. Thanks to my Sensen, my husband lives on. Here and here. Day. Can you hear me? Yes. What is your name? Nelin. What year? <clears throat> what did you say? Nelin. Damn. Now that's a first. Not to worry. We'll scrape away those last memories. What year is it? I, I don't know. It's 2084. Do you know where you are? No. Not so resistant after all. Thank you for your cooperation. <sighs> Dr. Quaid. Yes. This subject is displaying some resistance. Complete the substitution protocols, then send her to me. I'll erase the last barriers myself. Yes, Doctor.
Good day. Raise your head, please. Thank you. Now stand up. Please follow the orange line to your next assignment. This is as far as I've played, so I don't know what happens next. about to wipe your brain, Nilan. Don't let them do it. I need to create a diversion. Be ready to move when I say. Who are you? I'm the voice you have to listen to if you want to live. Don't leave me alone. Please stand in line and wait for your turn for horses to down on the chair. That got their attention. Nila, the large metal shutter is going to raise on your left. If you understood me, move your head. I'm linked to your sensei. I'll feel it. The door. Go under it. Now. Unattended patient in restricted area. Coercive unit deployed. Passage on your right. Take it. Get up. You've got to keep going. Almost there. 
slide into a casket. Quickly. Calm down. My name is Edge. You have to trust me, sis. I just did, bro, and now I am trapped in a coffin! <sighs> I must prepare you for what is waiting outside. The enemy is Memorize, a corporation that has digitized and commoditized memories. They call it Sen Sen Technology, and the world is addicted to it. You follow? Yes. You were a memory hunter, Nilla, the best. Other hunters merely pillage memories, but you can remix them. And above all, you are an errorist, just like me. Why did they do this to me? You were a revolutionary fighter and my best agent. We all fought to assure that no firm might build a monopoly on all human memories, but I failed. We were rounded up and imprisoned. Oh, 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 this is all very interesting, but I really have to get out of this coffin now. The currents are going to take you to slum 404. Once you've landed, I'll tell you my plan. Now, fame's lost now. A new us. Tears and grins. Lost. Look! Lost. A new us. Pain is now. now. Dark pain. Is lost now. I've been searching a long time now. Friend? I'm not part of your tribe. Is that it? Okay, I think this is where we learn how to fight. Use L and press A to dodge. Okay. Whoa. I don't want to oh, damn. You. We got some moves. You're gonna have to, Nilan. These guys will kill you. 
Use your presence. Combo Lab. Remember your fighting moves and customize your combos. Yeah, I knew that this was a, a kind of combo-based fighting... Not a fighting game, but action-adventure game. Mm, as you progress, you unlock your forgotten fighting moves called Presence. Your combos can be customized with the unlocked Presence on the right. Okay. First slot in your combo cannot be customized. The input sequence of a combo is predetermined and immutable. Power presence deal extra damage. Use them to strike hard. Make a three-hit combo with the two power presence Nilan uh, has remembered. Okay, this is um, this is a lot. Select it with left stick and press A to validate. Okay. The these are both the same. Power presence deal extra damage. I use L to select the combo slot you want to put the presence into, and then validate. Okay, so the first slot is already there. That's the immutable, can't change it. So this goes into the second. Now you do the same for the last slot. Okay. Okay, our combo is XXX. It's easy. Timing tip. Perform the next hit as you land a strike. Okay, so there's a rhythm to it. You know, just mash it. Dynamic combo display at the bottom of the screen provides real-time button press feedback on the combo you are performing. Cool, I got their memory monies or something. Leapers. Miserable castoffs left to rot in the depths of Neo Paris. Miserable. Monstrous, more like. They are the abandoned children of our Sen Sen age. Simply humans like you or I, but cast as shadows of our shame. Something we are meant to fear. Another justification for the errorist cause. Who's there? Not too keen on the whole these enemies are monsters and also they're all deformed. Seems pretty shitty about disability. That association with deformity with monsters. Oh. Sad hatches offer free nanomedical services to all Neopara citizens. Wow, free healthcare? Okay, you need to get out of here. Go find Headache Tommy. I told him you were back in the game. Who? He runs a bar at the top of Slum 404. Start by climbing out of this dump, and I'll give you directions as and when. Slum 404. <laughs> Ah, this game's really good looking, isn't it? When did it come out again? I actually don't remember. Came out 2013. Your sense and calculates the optimal path towards your objective. So, quest markers? Waypoints? How in escape from the Amnesia Cathedral? Does anyone recognize Edge's hand in Do they say we escape from the Amnesia Cathedral? Oh, 
The administration has admitted the escape. Nessist memory? Or Nessist memory? Because access to the cultural memories of Neo Paris in an effort to fight all forms of ignorance caused by memory loss. Found third levels can be read in the journal. Founding of Neo Paris. Oh. Founding of Neo Paris. Oh, there's a lot here. Uh, it's had 16 million hits. Uh, 2047, September 9th to the 12th. Several Tremora seismic bombs laid waste to half of Paris. The catastrophe marked the end of the European Civil War and triggered a longer period of suffering and deprivation for the survivors trapped in a city pockmarked by craters from explosions. The local authorities were tempted to abandon the city during the five years after the destruction of Paris. The old capital had become a ghost town since the fall of the French government in 2041, and the municipal council was the only legitimate governing body. Paris was declared a free city in spring of 2048, and gangs and looters ruled the streets. 2052, after two years of negotiations, Mayor Eugene Hu Hubert... There's going to be... Since this is... A future Paris, there's going to be a lot of French names, and I do not know how to pronounce French names, sorry. Uh, they managed to persu persuade the great entrepreneur Antoine Cartier-Wells to move the head office of Memorize back to the city where he had founded his company 40 years earlier. The announcement that his most famous and profitable company was returning to Paris gave the ravaged city renewed hope for the future. A massive rehabilitation project of the ex-capital was launched the following year, and the founding of Neo-Paris was announced. Two factors would ensure the success of the project. The SAFFE, Security and Freedom for Everyone, program generated a global topological map of the city devastated by bombs, and carried out a, sy a systematic survey of the remaining buildings and structures. Those impossible to rebuild were preserved to create an AVR, Augmented Vertical Reconstruction, plan to build the city on the city, and skyscrapers appeared in the urban landscape of Paris for the first time. The second was the Merafarique. <laughs> Mer I don't know. God, I don't know. Merafarique. Like that, but French. A huge dam around the city designed to protect from outside attacks and to channel transport and trade into the city via canals and water channels linking the different districts. Up's the only way out of here. Oh, look at all this compacted trash. Compacted trash looks so strange and interesting. Edge, who is this Tommy guy? Tommy was your closest friend. A former memory hunter who's still faithful to our cause. His bar is in a cargo hull over the canal locks in slum 404. The leaking brain. You can't miss it. Oh, there's also enemy information for all the enemies. Apparently there's 14 different types. But first, we have the landmark, the Nymphia Hospital ship. Ooh. Shared November 23rd, 2081. The Nymphia is probably the most famous warship to be converted into a hospital. This treatment center gained international recognition in just a few years, specializing in the treatment of memorial disturbances under the direction of Dr. Sebastian Quaid. Oh, Sebastian Quaid, that's the person who 
we were going to be sent to. Memorial disturbances. Memorial is in memory, not like a memorial for someone who's died. The origin of hospital ships dates back to the European Civil War, 2040 to 2047, a time when devastated countries were in urgent need of mobile field hospitals with a range of clinical facilities to treat physical and psychological traumas. The use of warships quickly caught on, and in Europe, roughly 30 ships of different sizes were converted, mainly corvettes and patrol ships, along with five frigates and two cruisers. In 2020, one of these cruisers became the famous Neo-Paris hospital ship, Nymphia. Disarmed after the Civil War, she was towed to the center of Paris, moored near the Ile de la... S I don't know, and became a public center for post-traumatic rehabilitation. At the time Neo-Paris was founded, 2053, the Nymphia was the only hospital still in operation from the era of the former capital, now under total reconstruction. In 2070, Dr. Sebastian Quaid created a research and treatment unit here for memorial disturbances financed by Memorize and other charitable bodies. The various surgical and treatment services had been moved to new hospitals over the years, and the ship is now a specialist research center for memorial afflictions. The Nymphia can now provide patients with the very best care procedures, the direct result of Dr. Quaid's pioneering research, and is proud of its recovery rate of over 75%. Every day, the teams improve the techniques for treating the memorial traumas characteristic of the Sensen civilization. Slum sauce. These things are everywhere. Defeated child. <laughs> Dawn's early light. Olga Sedova, through hail and sleet like a dreadful. left a memory of a hidden stash for you to find. Study the picture carefully and find the indicated area in your surroundings. Okay, looks like a elevator door illuminated from the top. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's just right over there. Where are all the people? There must be someone up here. Okay, well, I found the spot. What do I do with it? Oh, it's the highlighted yellow part in the picture, isn't it? So that's the stashes at this corner. Yes. Sad patch. Click five sad patches to gain an extra health gauge chunk, so that increases my maximum health. I think I want to fall down there. Keep your nose open. Maybe I do? Oh, I love the sound of jumping and hitting these metal panels. You can hear the echo of it. 
Yeah, should I drop down, I guess? Oh. I guess that was what I was supposed to do. No, it isn't. This just took us back to where we were before. Definitely not what I was supposed to do. Okay, so the same as jumping, like, across a ledge to the side, you just point in the direction of the thing. Dangerously low on health. A 5 hit combo's been unlocked. Oh, there's a presence, a prison that gives us uh, health on hit. Regen. Regenerate some health, yeah. So I could make that work with the current combo, right? I could replace those parts. So I can get one small combo that... Um, does everything, but is not super powerful, or I guess I could make a five hit combo. I assume it ne needs all five things filled to be able to work. So we have two regen healths. Oh, the button that you have to press is predetermined, isn't it? So this one that's Y. Probably, yeah, I couldn't go into the slots that are marked X. Okay. Okay, I see. So the top ones are all X, which means I could replace that one with, with that. Then we have a healing one and a damage one. Let's try that. Still XXX. Yep, there's some health. Okay, that is so cool. I don't know if you caught on to what was happening there, but the music is reactive to what you do. I, I knew that was the case, actually, because when I was uh, when I was playing the game Get Even, I really liked the soundtrack, and I looked up who made it. Turns out it was this one person whose name I forgot off the top of my head. But I was looking through other stuff they had made, and I saw that they had made the music for this game, and there was a making of video, and I watched a bit of it. And they're talking about how it was reactive to to what you do. It's like really procedural. It's not just a static song. It kind of pauses and, and the music ebbs and flows depending on when you do attacks and jumps and stuff like that. But to actually play it, it feels really good and sounds incredibly cool. Wee! <laughs> 
just to change things up, let's try to get a huge combo. Um, I mean, I guess I'll... Do I actually have enough? Like, if I use the ones that I already used, would I have enough? I don't. I, I don't have two Ys, and I need two Ys. Yeah, okay. Unless you don't need all five. Maybe you don't need all five. The further a present is placed in a combo, the bigger its effect will be. Oh. Okay, interesting. So right now it has 11 regeneration. And... Uh, remove with Y, there we go. 11 regeneration. So if I make this one... The worst... Oh right, it has to be an X. If I make this one the regeneration, it's only 9. If it's at this point. Okay. All right, yeah, let's build this one up as much as we can. Um, I mean, healing's pretty important, obviously. I guess I'll just get it up to four. I'll do one damage, one heal, and then one damage. That's actually all I can do. And then for this, might as well throw the X regeneration in there. So it's a two-hit combo? Hope these combos work, since they're incomplete. So... The long one is YX, YX. to some sort of machine that's illuminated. Kind of on the machine, actually. There was a 4-8 combo. Yeah, so it does work. Nice. You've reached a PMP threshold and can now unlock presence. What's PMP? <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff is. No one gains PMP as she fights. Procedural procedural mastering points are used to unlock forgotten presence. So skill points, basically? Levels? Think about how you can use it to create longer and better combos. So there's only one I can unlock right now. Just a good old damage one. Yeah, I still can't complete that five combo one. Okay, so yeah, you don't have to complete a combo for it to be a combo. You can put as many as you want in them. It's only the fact that they're more effective the further in the chain they are that makes it advantageous to have a combo. I think that's really the only advantage, pretty much. So it's good to hit a longer combo and have a longer combo, but if you don't happen to hit the fifth one, but you hit four of them, that's still pretty good. It's not all or nothing, which is nice.
Rockfall hazard, it just said? Get off of me! Oh, this is a mini boss, isn't it? Skinner's much stronger when other leapers are around. Defeat the leaper prowlers before you go after him. are attacking citizens. Leapers were citizens. All right. I'll believe you. Come on, move it. Tommy's waiting for you at the leaking brain. The combat feels pretty good. I love how the music interacts with it. Oh, uh, I wanted to read the enemy information. Prowler Leaper. Leapers are hostile outcasts who live in the most remote and polluted places of Neo-Paris. Their mutation is related to an unknown form of sense and implant rejection. They are both regressive and aggressive. So the sense and implant made them turn into monsters? That's a bad side effect. <laughs> Basic attack, claw attack, wall attack is their special attack. Sense and DOS or spammer makes them fall off of walls. Okay, well, we're not there yet. Skinner Leaper. They're the strongest leapers, tall and hefty. They use nothing but brutal force to get rid of their enemies. Mm. I don't think there's any point in reading their abilities, really. But the tips, yes. Dodge rush attacks. Take out other leapers first. Use power presence to break through a Skinner's guard. Oh... So, 
Yeah, you need specifically damage shielding presence to break through their guard, otherwise it's not going to do much. So it's not just about what damage, like how much damage and how much healing you want in your combos, it's also that certain types are better for certain types of enemies. Cross the floating market to that warehouse. It's a shortcut to Tommy's bar. You know, in the past, I've tried not to be too horny on Maine, but I've started to come to accept that I'm just a horny bitch. Nilan is really hot. I told my wife that, and she agrees. Nilin is super hot. Oh my god, her butt is amazing. Anyway, that's all. The animations are really nice. It's very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> 